All right, let's take a look here at Terragrun. So this is a thin wrapper for Terraform that provides extra tools for keeping your configuration dry, working with multiple Terraform modules, managing remote state, uh, and this is accessible at the terra, uh, terragrunt.gruntwork.io. Uh, so the idea here is the concept of don't repeat yourself. So it's a programming methodology to abstract repeated code into functions and modules or libraries, and often in isolate files to reduce code complexity efforts and errors. So the way that works is that you'll see these HCL files, which are the uh, Terragrunt uh, code, and they're actually named terragrunt.hcl. And that's what's going to be used to um, abstract away or dry up your um, Terraform files. So here is an example of Terragrunt. Now Terragrunt does a lot of different things and you're going to uh, find its use when you actually use Terraform in practice and you run into these limitations in Terraform and you go, man, I wish there was a way around it. And Terragrunt like, almost always solves that. And so one example is being able to generate um, dynamic providers. And I don't mean like dynamic values here in the sense that there's that dynamic value feature of uh, Terraform, but I just mean the fact that um, at the time of this, it's very hard to uh, inject or, or to uh, write out uh, providers. So they have this generate function that allows you to get around that. Another really interesting thing is that Terragrunt supports better granularity for modules by reducing lots of boilerplate. Uh, the way they do this is, the, is that you are referencing your Terraform files uh, via the source here. Okay, so you're not including your modules within your code, you're just referencing them and then you pass along their inputs. Uh, and this is going to be very important when we look at uh, wanting to write unit tests for your infrastructure, because uh, when you learn about how you test IAC, you have to really break things down into smaller parts. And if you have a lot of friction there, it's going to make your team not want to uh, adopt that or it's going to make that process really slow. Um, but again, this is more like at scale or when you hit these kind of requirements, okay?